Being how this episode is going to be posted on the 25th of December, I decided to make it a really short episode that deals with five questions found on Reddit's tech support website, and these are simple things that might actually affect you over the holidays, or not. Who cares? It's a short episode. So before everything, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQ Way Weekly, let's answer these five simple problems and then we can all go back to whatever we were doing. So the first one has to do with interference with the microwave affecting Wi-Fi. The simplest solution to dealing with interference with a microwave is to change the channel to be as far away from the microwave's 2.5 gigahertz spectrum by going to as close as we can to channel one on your router settings and this should alleviate any problems. However, you can also use the 5 gigahertz spectrum or just stop using the microwave. By the way, this also affects cordless phones. So if you're going to buy a cordless phone for some crazy reason, I'm not talking about cell phones, by the way, but if you're going to buy a cordless phone, just make sure it's not a 2.4 gigahertz phone, period. Then we have viruses, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet. Just want to point out because somebody was curious to whether a virus could hop from computer to computer, depending on the connection type. So technically speaking, viruses don't care how you are connected to the internet and how you actually interact with other computers or devices. The only thing stopping a virus from hopping from one computer to another is the fact that the computers are not able to transfer any information to each other, which means they are in a lockdown. If they have shared folders or for something, some other reason, they're allowed to talk to each other, they can actually transfer viruses from one to another. That's kind of how worms work. The only effective way to stop a virus from bouncing from one computer to another is using the router setting for access point isolation, which basically breaks everything in your house. If you have a Chromecast and try to use your cell phone to stream, it won't work. Then we have someone asking about installing a drive from another computer without formatting. Is it possible? The answer is actually yes. That's kind of how backing up files from one computer to another once the computer has maybe crash actually works. So the only actual issue you may run into are file permissions and under the properties, you can go under the security permissions and allow yourself to access those files. That is usually a solution to that. And that's probably something you should talk about on a different day. And someone was wondering if you could permanently delete files on any device and technically, no. It, the only real way to delete a file is to delete the file, which by the way, doesn't get rid of it, and to completely overwrite the drive. The bigger the drive, the more data you need to write over the drive. So essentially, if we're talking about a computer, you might as well use a program called DBAN or GIS wondering why you're trying to delete and hide a file in the first place. Another way of dealing with it is to burn the drive itself. <laughs> I mean, you really can't get rid of it unless you completely overwrite the drive. Just saying. Then we have one really simple solution, how to deal with computers waking up randomly after being put asleep while it might not be immediately evident to the younger generation. Modern mouses, have a optical sensor whether it is infrared or laser chances are it is sensitive like you can't imagine compared to what we used to have which were balls and actual like rolling sensors but let's get back to the point the slightest movement might trigger it like a snowflake pissed off at something that is true and there is a simple way of dealing with it Go to the device manager, select your mouse, go to power management and uncheck the box written, allow this device to wake up the computer. And this should solve most people's issues with the computer just randomly waking up because most of the time it is the mouse. And you can use that same solution for any other device that may be affecting your computer. Just make sure you don't do it to the keyboard. Otherwise you will not have any way of waking up your computer, period. 
So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else. This episode will be published to everyone at the same time, so... Thank you for watching and goodbye.